Before I start, I would like to share a quite great news that uh, I achieved during last year. It took me an entire year to rewrite my library from scratch, and I was able to merge it on the main line two weeks ago at the end of the meeting in Varna. So it was something big for me, and with that, actually, I can start uh, talking about physical units on lightning talks with new series of lightning talks called Mismeasure for Measure. And of course, the first one has to be about the biggest, the most expensive, and the most famous mistake we did in engineering with uh, units in our human history, right? So it is about mass climate, or, or climate orbiter, right? It is the um, space probe, oh, it was a space probe that was launched by NASA on December 1988. And it was really expensive. The cost of the, of the mission were, uh, it, basically we paid for space, space development, uh, the, uh, launching it from the, from the launch place uh, took a lot of money, and also then mission operations that um, basically lasted for some time also took a lot of money. Um, everything went really nice until uh, the climate orbiter nearly uh, approached the Mars uh, project trajectory, and this is what was planned. Uh, it was planned to actually attend the, um, within the altitude of 220 kilometers over Mars, Mars surface, but what was measured and what we actually observed is that actual trajectory was much, much lower, only 57 kilometers. So there was some mistake involved in the calculations. And as a result, the space probe went out of radio contact about 20 or 49 seconds earlier than expected. Uh, communication was never re-established with the space probe, and space probe probably either disintegrated in the Mars atmosphere or um, re-entered the heliocentric uh, space uh, after leaving the uh, Mars orbit. So what went wrong? Actually, it turns out that the primary cause was the fact that there were two companies working on the same software. Lockheed Martin was using United States customer unit system to express some quantities, and SI was using NASA, was using was used by NASA. And the official specification, official document for specifying how they should interface with each other was SI as well. So NASA was correct, and Lockheed Martin used incorrect units. Specifically, the units involved here were pounds per seconds that were about to um, express the thrust provided by the, um, by the thrusters, and uh, it was used then by NASA to update the trajectory of the, of the software um, in, the, in the space probe, right? So the conversion factor between those is 445, if done correctly, and if not done, this is how the industry reacts on, on this problem, right? Actually, about the responsibility, uh, Lockheed was not blamed for this. NASA said it's our fault because we didn't test this, the system properly. And they didn't found, basically found this issue during the unit testing. What is actually interesting is that they knew about the problem earlier. And it was noticed by at least two navigators that the actual position doesn't match the calculations. But as they officially say, that the concepts were dismissed because they did not follow the rules about filling out form to document their concerns. <laughs> so, assuming that they could use C20, right? And they could use physical units library in the header files as an interface, this is how such a problem can be solved with the software I'm actually writing. Right? You provide the thruster with some get firing total inputs function returning the quantity in pounds force per second. And in NASA, you can provide the interface taking newtons per second. So this is how those companies uh, interacted with each other. And if you will take value from one, provide to another uh, software, you will find exactly that the value is scaled automatically by the library, right? Of course, having such an interface is probably not the best idea. If they have official specification, the interface should look like this one. But the result is the same. The calculation provides the same results, so this is fine and correct. So with this, I would like to invite you to actually 
try the software and provide some feedback about it. Thank you very much. Ooh, ooh. That, that, that was exactly on the nose. <laughs>